What's up, Mushroom Fam? It's Gary with Fresh From The Farm Fungi. I'm here in my lab in Denver, Colorado, and today I wanted to do a video breaking down mycology lids for liquid culture or for making spore syringes or spore solutions. This is a very important tool in mycology. I've been using these mycology lids since the very beginning when you buy a ball jar and it comes with the little metal screw on lid you can flip that upside down drill a couple holes put some injection ports and syringe filters and that's the basic version of a mycology lid you can even just use the micropore tape and inject straight through that which is what i did back in the early beginning days so a few years ago I made a video called the Mycology Extractor Lid and since then it's gained a lot of attention so I thought I would go back and kind of review my thoughts on the Mycology Lids today. Before I get started I wanted to give a shout out to a couple different suppliers. MycologyLids.com was kind enough to give me some samples of these Master LC Lids. So they're really nice with the tubes and the, uh, the IV clamp on it. And then also Looking Glass Mycology. They hooked me up with some of these lids with uh, the, the extra thick injection port. And they've got these little rubber gaskets, which are nice. And then if you want to check out our Etsy shop, Fresh Fungi, uh, my friend Zach over at Mushroom Cult, he manufactures these gray mycology lids which I've been using for a few years now really nice quality and they're the basic uh, for the smaller size openings sometimes I get the larger ones in stock as well so I don't manufacture these but I use them all the time and another shout out to Lion's Mane equipment and supply for coming up with the OG media extraction lid which I'm not sure if they make these anymore but reach out to lion's mane if you're interested in the whole setup i'll also post links to the various parts and links to these uh these suppliers in the description below okay guys so over the course of the past four or five years there's been many renditions of these mycology lids and i'll kind of go through the pros and cons of each of these setups that I have on my bench top right here. So this is what I would consider the most basic model of the mycology lid. This one I actually made myself. It's a, a ball jar lid on a, I think this is a half gallon jar with a smaller standard size opening. The thing about the mycology lids in general is that it creates a closed system so it keeps the media sterile while you can still use it with a syringe. So I have some syringes right up here that I'll grab. And um, the idea is that uh, a syringe is a sterile mechanism to move mycelium from the, the master culture into a grain bag. So I'll grab some grain here as well and you can inject the liquid culture directly into the grain bag with a, a sterile needle. So somewhere I've got some, some sterile needles, but if you're interested in looking at how you use these, check out my video on media extraction bottles. Um, it goes through the whole process from start to finish. After the basic model, which is an injection port, which that is where you inject and uh, you can draw from the same port and it has a syringe filter as well which is a 0.2 micron filter and the important aspect of this filter is that it allows for air displacement so when you're injecting your media into the uh, the sterile solution when you press down on the plunger the air will be filtered out through this uh, syringe filter and then when you're drawing that needle or when you're drawing that media through the needle that air will be displaced back into the bottle and these are glass jars so 
there needs to be air displacement in order to pull that syringe. So that's the main purpose of the, the syringe filter. Some people think that it allows for fresh air exchange, which maybe there's a little bit of air exchange going on, but it's mostly for the air displacement inside the, uh, the system here. So now I'll break down the different components of these different mycology lids. So this is a, uh, a little bit more advanced model from Looking Glass Mycology. So it has a higher quality injection port on there. So you can see it's nice and thick. The lifespan of these is gonna be a little bit more than these other models here, like the one on my Etsy. Uh, but you can find these replacement injection ports on my Amazon affiliate page. So if you have bought these before, these are like two cents each, where these are a little bit pricier, but they're going to last longer. And another feature of the Looking Glass Mycology lid is that it has this silicone gasket that fits really nicely on the lid. And that's nice because it creates a really good seal. So when you're making your spore syringes or when you're pulling your liquid culture, you don't have to worry about dripping around the edge, which that's often a problem when you're using these ball jars the top can get kind of grimy so that's a really nice upgrade I like the uh, the little gasket on there so now moving down the the line here we've got our mycologylids.com master LC lid right here and I really am a big fan of this mycology lid so this is a, it looks like half inch tubing, which is really nice for those thick uh, LCs. So right here, we've got some King Oyster in my media bottle, and you can see how thick that, that liquid culture can get. I've got a quarter inch tubing on the uh, media extraction bottle, but this half inch tubing is a lot nicer to work with. It will draw up that liquid culture and then I guess the bottleneck would just be that lure lock on the tip of the syringe. So yeah, I'll crack one of these open and show you how the uh, system gets completed. So it's got these lure lock caps on here. So while you're sterilizing and you pull it out of the autoclave or the pressure cooker, you can keep the tip sterile and then what I like to do is I'll take this lid off and then put my syringe on there right away. And what I've been doing recently is I'll just uh, go ahead and use the syringe as a cap and that way it keeps the, the system sterile while it's not in use. You can see it's got a really nice flex to it which makes it easy to work with on the bench top and then basically you just draw in that sterile water and this one does not have a check valve so you can kind of mix your solution like that which is nice but the downside is that when you pull that syringe off all that fluid will go back into the system so that is why this clip is in place. So after, okay, so say I drew up my, my liquid culture, I would want to close this valve here so that when I take my syringe off, it's not sucking in air into the sterile system. So I really like this feature. On the traditional mycology lids, um, there is a check valve that is not present on that model, but right here I've got um, some more that I'm using. So that is the same concept as these check valves. So that's a one-way valve that liquid can only flow through this into the syringe, um, and then that way it doesn't contaminate your liquid culture. So if you don't have a check valve, you can get these IV um, valves here or they just come with them on these uh, mycologylids.com master LC lids. But with the original 
media extraction lids, there's the lure lock, the check valve, and then this uh, little transfer section here, which it looks like it's a male, it's a male lure lock piece that can be sterilized, PP5. Another feature on these uh, mycology lids is that they have the injection port right on top. And I really like the, this coupling here, which is a, a metal coupling. So that's a really high quality connection compared to these plastic couplings that are on the mycology lid. So I actually added my own injection ports onto these ones as well because it makes it really easy to inoculate these without going into this line and uh, creating air holes. This is a really nice feature. Um, this is on just a half pint ball jar as well, a large mouth, which is nice. Um, and then, yeah, I really like using these to make my spore syringes. You can place it on a stir plate with this stir bar and how they set up the tubing, you can kind of wind it to the edge. And then I would put my spores in there and go ahead and just allow that to, uh, to mix while I'm setting up my workstation, just like that. So really nice product here. I highly recommend the half inch tubing and this metal uh, gasket or the coupling. So like I said before, I'll post links to the parts. If you wanna make your own lids, I will post links to these lids that are all laid out on my bench top here. And then the Lion's Main Equipment and Supply, you're gonna to have to reach out to them because um, they closed their storefront here in Denver, but um, I do use these almost every week for about three years now. I would say three years or two and a half years, so, and they've held up really nicely. So awesome product. If you're interested in any liquid cultures, we just restocked our Etsy for springtime. So check out our Etsy shop, Fresh Fungi. If you have any more questions about mycology lids, feel free to comment in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video and the breakdown and the back engineering of these mycology lids. It's a really simple concept, but it helps to scale up the, uh, the growth phase for your mushroom starters. All right, guys, thanks again for watching. If you're looking forward to more mycology videos like these, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and until next time, much love.